What up investors, what up traders, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor and we're doing a quick rollback. We're looking at revisiting a post within the Wall Street Bets. Um, this is from the user who basically did a full on YOLO play at, with 780K in SPX puts, which follows the S&P 500 um, saying that by June, June uh, 19th of this year that the S&P 500 is going to be lower. Um, he's thinking 1500. Um, we'll be looking at the charts here in a second. Uh, we kind of wanted to update this since the market has been uh, uh, going up here steadily. Uh, actually today being up nearly 5% um, and showing a lot of signs of a potential reversal um, again this individual still has quite a bit of time for these options or these put options to uh, come to fruition um, but we're going to be looking at the probability of this happening um, the percentage of what uh, this user could have already lost in potential losses um, so we're going to click on the link here uh, so he basically paid uh, average price of $17.42 so about seventeen hundred and fifty dollars per contract and he bought 450 of those so you can see the current market value again this is about 10 days ago um, so we're gonna do uh, a little update and seeing how this position is uh, going for this guy um, um, good uh, short news it's not going well <laughs> it's not going well boys <laughs> all right let's go ahead and cut over uh, to the charts all right, so now we are looking here at the chart. This is again the SPX. This is basically the S&P 500 index. This is a basically the S&P 500. So it's currently trading at 26.30. We're still currently in the market, almost 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here. Um, looking at a very strong uh, potential reversal here. Um, if it closes above the 21, this is a fairly good sign. Um, moving forward, uh, we, doesn't mean we still can't go go have lower days, but um, no one has a crystal ball. But moving forward and with a potential reversal. Again, this was taken 10 days ago, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it was around this day over here when the market was around 23, 2400, where this guy made this bet, basically having the bet that it's going to crash to 1500. Um, again, the, the these options have he has quite some time on these so if we look here at the options chain believe it was the 19th there's so many options for spx here uh the 19th right here i don't know if it was the am or pms but we're just going to go with these we're going to look at the 1500 dollars price so they're around seven dollars and seven dollars and 80 maybe 75 cents so basically, he's lost ten dollars worth of, uh, or a thousand dollars worth of his shares that he paid seventeen for. Again, there's still probability of this happening, um, but it looks like, again, he's had four hundred and fifty contracts. It only has a very oh, this is fifteen hundred. So this is sorry, sorry, here it's right here. I need to highlight this. Um, so there's nine hundred contracts total. Volume only one today. So it looks like those contracts are still intact or he hasn't sold yet because I did a video 10 days ago about this um, that he still had that position opening and well. Um, we can go look at the Delta, which the Delta is going to kind of give us the, this says basically a 2% probability of being in the money. Again, we are 74 days out um, and the plus or minus is 400 where we currently at that's the market makers so even with at 400 it would only put us with current price at 2632 would be still over well even if we add 200 extra points to it um we're still going to be above 2000 that being said the market has moved completely uh, multiple deviations sometimes two three deviations on a daily basis so honestly it's this this option is such a still a high premium on this put option uh, trading this far out at 1500 uh, price targets I look like I have to scroll for days to even get up to the right here so you can kind of see the option contract just to buy one option contract SPX uh, just straight out 
is kind of cost you a boatload. Like this is uh, seventeen hundred, seventeen thousand uh, dollars. That's quite a lot of money uh, to fork over for a options contract, right? Am I right? Like fifteen thousand dollars, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars for these options, and that's it's yes, it's seventy four days out, um, which is still some time, but I, I don't want to call it too short. But uh, things aren't uh, going too well. So basically, let's do some very simple math here. Pull up the old calculator. There we go. So he paid $17.42, so he has 450 shares, and we're just going to give him the benefit of the doubt, give him a little bit of a higher price. Um, so that's 3000 then we're going to times that by a hundy. So his current value of, again, this is just theoretically, is $306,000 is what currently his position's worth, or the market value. Um, the cost basis is still the 700 um, right here, the seven hundred um, and eighty-three dollars. So he's losing quite a bit, and this is kind of making sense here. The theta is kicking in on his behalf. Of we talked about this in an earlier video with an options trading, is that theta is going to start kicking in and really starting to uh, pick up around the sixty and then forty-five days out. And he's only at seventy-four, but that theta is going to really start kicking in. Um, potentially uh, drawing things down even worse for this gentleman or lady I'm not sure um, but he is risking quite a bit of money here um, basically cutting his position down by 60% already on this particular bet um, we don't know if this is gonna happen again no one has a crystal ball I just wanted to do an update to kind of show you on the these YOLO plays and sometimes they work out sometimes they don't most times they don't um, this is a huge risk. This was a enormous amount of capital to put into this position, um, but we're going to continue to watch this and monitor it here uh, and see if we get to this. Oh, excuse me, if we get to this level or what potentially could happen um, if these up prices go up or down, and then probably check in maybe two weeks from now and look at it again um, to see if that uh, put option has gained value or that theta has kicked in because if we go here and we hit on the theta it's at uh, 26 ish so it's fairly high um, due to the volatility kind of coming down the premium is going to start sucking dry out of a lot of these uh, really far out of the money options and for this to move a lot further away the gamma is this going to be very risky so <sighs> not saying it was the smartest idea but the guy had a plan he executed put his money where his mouth was and just went for it um, but we'll see what happens uh, we can go look at the chart here real fast so basically if, if we took the today's value we closed today at this price we would need a literally another uh, this is 75 percent drop where we are today in the market. So that would make a total drop from the high in February all the way down to that price that this individual is saying is basically a 55 or 56% drop, which again, I think the reason how this guy picked it was due to the fact of in 08, 09, we dropped down to nearly 57, 56% from the high to low. Um, not saying this this can't happen again I think we could be trading sideways up here for a while I don't think we're gonna be seeing 3393 anytime soon um, just to do with all the unemployment stuff going on and the overall uh, constant stay at home and the restrictions on certain markets being open uh, and travel just completely halt travel just completely halted in the United States here and again this is a global pandemic so We'll just see what happens. We're going to keep a close eye on here. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, please leave it down below. Again, this is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.